What's up, buddies? My name is Shailesh, and you are watching E Buddies. So, guys, today we are going to cover the basics of choice-based system and the process of calculating your overall pointer. So, please stay tuned and watch this video till the end, as it's going to be very informative for all of you in all the aspects. So, without wasting your time, let's proceed to the main content. The most basic thing that majority of students don't know is the difference between the credits and the grade points. For example, here we have taken the curriculum of first semester. You can get this PDF from the official site of your university. For Mumbai University students, we have provided the drive link in the description. You can download it from there. Here if you can see, engineering mathematics is assigned with one credit point for tutorials and three credit points for theory that is the unit test and the end semesters the total credits assigned is 18 this we will require while calculating the overall pointer now based on your performances in unit test and semester you get marks out of 100 for example if you get 80 or more than 80 then you get 10 grade point in that particular subject Similarly, if you get 75 or more than 75, then you get 9 grade points. This grade point versus mass classification is given behind the mark sheet you get from the university. Also, we have mentioned it here. For internals, if you get 80% or above, then you get 10 grade points. For example, if your internal sums up for 50 marks, then you should at least get 40 marks to get 10 grade points. That is 10 pointer in that particular subject. Now, the most important part of this video comes up. The process to calculate overall pointer. Step 1 is calculating credits earned. So for this, you just need to multiply credits assigned with the grade points. As we have mentioned earlier, Applied Mathematics 1 has 3 credits assigned for theory. Consider you have got 10 grade points in theory. So the credits earned will be 3 into 10, 30 for the theory. Repeat the same procedure for term work and all other subjects. Step 2 is calculating final pointer. Here you just need to divide the total credits earned in all the subjects by the total credits assigned. This will give you your final pointer for the respective semester with the help of which you can pre-plan your studies and hit the targeted pointer you want. The next part will be full of guidance on how to score 9 plus pointer easily. Guys, if you found this video helpful, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that when the next part, the most important part comes up, you get notified. Also, if you have any queries or suggestions, you can DM us on our Instagram handle or you can mention the same in the comment section. Till then, see you later.